Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, June 30th, 2010. This morning I wanted to talk about shared variables, what it's called a class variable in other small talks. In VisualWorks and Object Studio, we call them shared variables, and that kind of reflects the way they operate. A shared variable is going to be global within the context of a class and all of its subclasses, so it can be seen up and down the hierarchy to that point from either an instance method or a class method. You'll also notice that nowhere in the definition do we have a spot to define them, and if I do a new class dialog here, Neither here nor in the Advanced tab is there a way to define a, a shared variable. What you do is you right click on the class itself and you'll notice down here under New there is an option for a shared variable. And you'll get a little template for defining those so it tells you what package it's in, what namespace it's in. You can put shared variables in different namespaces. I will call this default value and I can give this an initializer. So I can say well I want that to be zero and then I can decide whether it's private or constant. So if I don't want it to be able to be changed, I can make it constant. So I hit OK, and now you go over here to shared variable, and you notice it created a category, and it created this. It has the initializer. But it turns out that even though I've set up an initializer, if I do this, counter dot default value, you're going to notice that it's not actually set yet. So if I print it, it's still nil. That kind of threw me for a loop initially. It turns out that that's not set when you define the shared variable. It's set when you load the package or parcel that has this. So to show you that, let me go ahead and save this out. So I'll export this as a parcel, and we'll just save it to the parcel called counting. And what I'll do is I'll quit this image, and we'll start a fresh one. So with this new image here, I'm going to just load this code by doing that parcel load code. And now we'll open up a browser, and we'll go ahead and find the package called counting. And we see that we should still have our shared variable here for the class. There it is. And if I look at self here, you notice it's been initialized to zero. And that's because it loaded the package and it set the initializer. It ran that initializer, which is just small talk expression code that you put here in the initializer. And you can set the initial value to whatever you want and just have that run on load. So that's how these things normally get set up. If you wanted to lazily load, what you would do is typically create a class side method to access the thing and then go ahead and have it lazily initialized that way. But this is how you define constants or pseudo constants for classes that you want to be shared across a, a hierarchy is, or across the instance and class side of a class is you specify a shared variable and that's how you do it. So that's it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.